Hello, this is Amanda from IDPN, the ID Photographer Network. We've done a couple videos about how to use actions that someone else has created, but today we're going to talk about making simple actions of your own. So let's get started. The first thing you need to do is make sure that you have your actions palette open. If you don't see it on the right here, you can open it with the window menu. We also need to have a photograph open in Photoshop to manipulate. We can't record our actions without something that we can act upon. That sounds sort of esoteric, but it'll make sense in a second. Now you can create actions that make your own creative ways of editing images, just like the sets you might buy from a third party, but I use them primarily to make Photoshop easier for me. So for example, there isn't a quick key to flatten an image. Um, so every time I've got multiple layers that I just want to make one flat image, I have to go up to layer, scroll down to flatten image, and it takes a lot of time. So I want to make my own action to make that easier for me. So in order to record ourselves flattening an image, we have to have layers to flatten. So the first thing I'm going to do is go up to Layer, Duplicate Layer, click OK. Now if I go to the Layers palette, I can see that I've got two layers to flatten. So we're, we've done the background work to start our action. So we're going to go to the Actions palette. The Actions palette kind of works like an old tape recorder. There's a Stop, Record, and Play button. This button right here creates a folder of actions, and this button right here creates a new action. And you can see that if you hover your icon over it, it will tell you what it does. So we're going to create a new action, and it's going to walk me through things like the name, tell it to flatten image. We want it to be in my set of actions, not someone else's set. We're also going to assign it a function key because this is something that I use quite frequently. So now it's recording whatever I do. So if I go back up to layer, Flatten image. As soon as it's done thinking, it has recorded that. You can see that there. That's all I want that action to do, so I'm going to click stop. So it's all I have to do now is say I've got a new layer, more than one layer. All I have to do is either highlight flatten image and click play. And now I've got no layers, or I can just hit the F key, F3, and it's played the action for me once again. So actions like these are a great way to personalize your Photoshop and make it easier for you to use. So that's all for today's quick and easy Photoshop tutorial on actions. Be sure to check out the rest of our videos by subscribing to our channel or visiting our resource library and blog listed in the description below. Thank you again from IDPN, the I Do Photographer Network, at www dot i do photo net dot com